Okay, guys. Uh, bear with me. I it's been a really long day. Uh, I had to work today on Saturday doing uh, a site move, moving servers and stuff in and out of racks. Anyways, uh, I've had a lot of dudes ask me about the annealer I built, so uh, I figured it was easier just to do a video than it was to uh, take a bunch of pictures. Now I'm actually I'm gonna rebuild this. Um, just because I, uh, I'd ordered this plate from a guy, Jay Morris, on Cast Bullets website, and it came with, uh, diagram that I thought I had lost, so I had to reverse, I had to basically re-engineer it, and then I ended up finding the diagram, so I want to, I want to use his setup, and I'm going to post a link in the description, uh, to a, uh, forum discussion where probably hundreds of people built these. But basically what you got, you got your two torch holders, you have uh, the plate, so what happens is you have a, a, a DC motor and this rotates around, engages these teeth and your case sits here and it advances it, you know, one tooth I guess per revolution. So the case sits here, you got your torches hitting it, and I mean these aren't at the right level. And then the motor comes around, rotates this, and where my hole is, is probably one, two, three, three or four rotations after the torch, and that just gives it a longer hot time, which helps uh, the anneal. What I have here is a uh, pulse width modulation uh, controller with on-off switch and then a little display that tells you 0 to 100 which is like the the percent of time of the pulse with the pulse width modulation and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see under here probably not Let's see if I can just lift it up. what I what I did to even this there's two um, pillow block bearings and I'll link to all this stuff and then a bolt and it rotates upon that and then in three spots I think I just drilled holes and put bolts down and used washers to shim them to the correct height so this plate actually rides on top of those bolts and you can see here the scratches uh, from when I had it flipped over when I had it rotating the other direction as a test so it's real simple uh, there's gonna be a lot more post the links in the description that's that's a lot more descriptive and you'll be able to see more pictures and I'll make a video when I rebuild this it'll look a lot nicer this was actually sort of like a mock-up proof of concept but I got a bunch of I got this lathe to get back together and then this shop to get organized down here so I got a lot of other stuff and it's winter and my wife is gonna have a baby like literally any minute now so I don't know how long. It'll probably be a couple months before I get that thing rebuilt. 